Good morning. So uh, I was thinking recently about my journey. I was reflecting a little bit. And I realized that uh, every part of my journey truly was necessary to get me to not only be the person I am today with what I've learned uh, through the experiences and lessons, but also uh, just everything that I experienced allowed me to meet the right people and uh, build the right network and get certain insight. And uh, so I truly needed every chapter of my life. And um, so I was thinking, I was thinking how my entire life I've never um, really had any money saved and I've always, you know, had just enough to get by. And uh, that's always been the biggest challenge is, um, is having, you know, money set aside and being comfortable financially. And so I was thinking of the timeline. Um, so examining from when I was a teenager, working, you know, an average job, going to school, um, try to put money away. And so starting from then, that was the only time in my life when I really began to save. But then uh, college, I moved to Miami with uh, $500 uh, in my account. I moved in with a friend, renting a room from a friend. and. Um, I was going to FIU, Florida International University. And then I got a job in a restaurant immediately because my resume was good in restaurants, so it wasn't hard to get jobs in restaurants within a week or two. Started working full-time at a restaurant. Uh, it was very slow, and uh, you'll see how this all ties in. But anyways, working full-time at a restaurant. Um, backtrack, actually. My roommate got me a job club promoting on South Beach. Um, before I got a job in a restaurant, while I was applying to restaurants. So uh, for two weeks, I was promoting on South Beach, my introverted ass on South Beach, talking to groups of girls, uh, trying to get them to come, come to a club, which uh, I, I hate club settings uh, over everything. <laughs> so uh, it was interesting, but I learned a lot. So I got to um, interact with you know, strangers and, and uh, all of that. It was my first networking experience. So that was interesting. But anyways, after that, restaurant, multitasking, working full-time in this restaurant, uh, going to school, and then I had my business venture, first business venture, Nourish Inc. So um, I was multitasking, working 24-7, basically. So um, I'd be sending emails in the, in the restroom at work when I had a full section at the restaurant, uh, emails to a manufacturer to um, you know keep things moving with my business venture, which was an organic sports beverage. Uh, like Powered or Gatorade, but Organic was the first product. It was an organic sports drink. It was amazing. Went through all kinds of obstacles. That's in another story. But bottom line, that chapter, all my money was going to um, business expenses. So contract here, $500. Even though I found an attorney who I gave her equity. She was amazing. Um, to give me these kind of prices, still even at cost, it was expensive. So uh, like setting up the corporation was, you know, a few hundred dollars um, at that time for the corporate package. But anyways, that chapter was necessary. I learned a lot. Then uh, it brought me back to Sarasota when um, I was supposed to move to New York City for a first production. And then my investor changed the deal on me last minute. So um, last minute things changed. I was in Sarasota saying bye to my family. Uh, ended up staying in Sarasota. My brother got me a job in the restaurant he worked at part-time. They didn't have any full-time positions available. So part-time, you know, I'm getting by living with my brother uh that big soft leather brown couch with a huge pothole in it uh it was comfortable though while his roommates while i was waiting for one of his roommates to move out so i could take his room uh but anyways <laughs> a lot of funny stories um that chapter was necessary as well so i wasn't making as much but i had more time to myself for self-reflection self-discovery so i'd sit in my room and i would just think and just really examine everything think about my past, think about who I am as a person, what I want. And I started coming up with all these different business ideas and I felt so overwhelmed. All these business ideas, I didn't know what to do, how to filter them, how to put them together. So it was then with all of that time that I had, I figured out I wanted to, well the smartest thing would be to put it under a personal brand where I shared the journey as I launched each business venture one at a time. That made the most sense. So I started my first efforts with personal branding. Uh, and so that started the foundation. So uh, from then on, I 
sign opportunity with Northwestern Mutual as a financial representative to be a financial advisor. And they liked my business background, even though I didn't have a four-year degree, they liked my business experience. So they gave me an opportunity. I thought it was great. I thought I could make a lot of money in a short amount of time, expand my network, and be like a professional while I build my business. So I jump into that and uh, I cut back to just weekends working at the restaurant. So I really sacrificed income for this opportunity. And uh, I did not like it at all. It wasn't for me. Great industry, it wasn't for me though. Uh, but I learned so much about networking. Skills that I use today, where um, we had to reach out to someone, either a stranger or someone we knew, meet them, network through them, meet those people, network for, through them. It got me so comfortable meeting strangers for coffee. And uh, that even years after that, I would reach out randomly on social media to, to people or you know that seemed interesting to hear their story and just meet them for coffee. And then, and I've learned so much and met so many amazing people through that. So even though I didn't make any money for six months with Northwestern Mutual, which is on me, I, uh, I spent the whole time trying to restructure their system, my <laughs> INTJ side. Uh, they warned me after I took a personality test, I might have that inclination and uh, they were right. I just wanted to kind of redesign everything and not actually do sales. But anyways, so needed that experience and um, I learned so much, met some great people who I'm very good friends with today. I needed that. So six months of not making anything from them, only making money on the weekends, you know, barely paying my bills. Uh, grateful that I lived with my brother and didn't pay much, but uh, I needed that chapter. So then from there, I got a job at the Ritz, started working at the Ritz Carlton, and I decided to step out of serving to bartend, to learn bartending through bar backing so make less to make more because I'd kill it making a bartender at the Ritz Carlton. And then I personal train in the mornings and make that transition. So I was studying to get my certification as a personal trainer, training as a bar back to be bartender um, once a spot opened up. So a year and a half later, um, I was about to take a personal training certification and uh, I took my time studying. <laughs> then for bartending, there was finally a position open. So I was excited. I was training to officially be a bartender at the Ritz Carlton. And uh, I literally was training to take that position within a couple weeks. But the girl uh, I was dating at the time, my, my last relationship, um, she was a travel nurse and we had discussed uh, moving and living across the country together. And so I decided to leave stability and all that potential income where I would have worked, made plenty for the first time in my life put it away but in a nice financial position and then traveled on my own for love and adventure which I'm glad I did I don't regret a thing I needed that as well so left traveled the country LA first for four months Austin Texas for three months San Diego for nine months and the entire time I, I was scraping by because you know job to job to job uh, and before we had left I had to make get myself in a better financial position. So I sold my car, got a bike from Walmart. I was riding that bike around. Then I got a car from a family friend to use as collateral to get a personal loan. So I had like, you know, a little bit of lump sum to transition across the country with, made it happen. But anyways, bottom line, all of these amazing experiences with her across the country, um, I needed, I needed the relationship with her. We helped each other grow. I needed those experiences. And so we came back and, uh, and ultimately I've, I'm able to create a brand called How to Road Trip America uh, based off of those travels. So um, I feel like everything does happen for a reason. Even though, of course, everyone has free will, everything, I feel like everyone has different paths, um, individual paths, but also different paths that they can choose, you know, depending on the choices they make. Uh, so a lot of potential paths, but um, I needed those experiences. And uh, it's what felt right. I followed my heart, but I've never had financial stability because I've traded experiences for income for experiences and uh, networking. So I have an amazing network that I've built uh, over the years and been able to keep in touch with through social media. So I'm grateful for social media because it really is an amazing tool. So um, I've been able to share my journey as an entrepreneur over the past few years and keep in touch with all these people and they see the progress. And so then, uh, aside from them seeing the progress, also like-minded people see that as well. 
that I, uh, you know, request on social media or, or meet or reach out to, to meet for coffee or learn from. And so it gives me more credibility. And then also um, they are more, they want to help because they see the direction things are going. And so that's where the power of branding comes in, the power of personal branding and sharing your journey comes in. So um, point of the video is that uh, I needed every chapter that I've been through to get to where I am now, where I still am uh, not making that much, but at the same time, I've had more time off the past year than I've ever had in my life. So making that transition from, from working in restaurants to personal training made my schedule flexible and freed up my time and energy to create, which I've done. So now I have the outlets, the structure built. Now I just have to bring the products to the market to start making money, and then things will start rolling in. So I just got my first book out, first product. I still need to get that blog up to sell the book and affiliate products, channel traffic. Uh, the next few books, got a series of books I need to write for that brand alone, and then books for my personal brand. Also one book for my fitness brand, which I need to get that package up online next. That's the next product. But bottom line, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for all of those experiences. And so um, looking back, I don't regret a thing. I do not regret sacrificing income and scraping by my entire life, trading that time. And it's not like I wasn't working. I was working for full time in restaurants, which is, you know, for those of you who work in restaurants, it's you. Uh, it is hard work all day, every day, one day off if you're lucky, half a day off if you're lucky. So I worked, but I'm saying past few years I've sacrificed uh, time for income. I had more time in between once I came back from Miami for a while when I had all the self-discovery and then more time recently. So it was like certain segments where I had uh, periods of time to really look within. But bottom line, everyone's path is different. Uh, oftentimes we need experiences that we've been through to make us who we are. So just uh, appreciate your journey. And uh, uh, yeah, I know that things are gonna change for me soon. I'm on the right track and uh, I'm sure you are as well to so just really follow your heart that's what it comes down to